Hello everybody, I'm Chris Williams. Welcome to my video blog. Personally, I think the opening scenes of my video blog, which you just saw, Curry, Google Earth, combined with the old ITN News at 10 theme tune, uh, I think that's really hilarious. It's a few days since I put that together, but it still makes me giggle, and I hope it makes you giggle too, uh, even if you're not from the United Kingdom, and I, I think most of you who are watching this are not from the United Kingdom, then uh, you'll uh, think that it's uh, quite a nice piece of artwork. But uh, this video blog is about depression. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to title this video blog Bye Bye George Bury and Robert Enker. And uh, indeed, depression, I think. Uh, now, we know that uh, depression claimed the life of Robert Enker very tragically uh, last week, as, uh, as most of you will know. And I'll be paying tribute to him at the end of this video blog. Actually, I didn't witness him play football in the flesh myself, but uh, I have heard of him previously and I've heard through the news about the various depression issues in his background. And of course, uh, George Burry, the Scotland manager, I was at Wales vs Scotland on Saturday, and I commented in my video on Saturday that uh, the Scottish scene didn't seem to turn up. Uh, but I know George Billy turned up as I could see him from my vantage point in the Cardiff City Stadium. But uh, now the news that uh, he's been sacked as the Scotland manager, and of course, getting the sack that can make you suffer depression. Uh, I don't envisage that George Billy uh, will commit suicide uh, because, uh, like, uh, well, I don't think he would. But uh, you can never be sure. No, uh, I uh, the reason why I'm basing tonight's blog on the depression uh, is largely that I've suffered depression myself with various problems in my life that have gone on far too long. Which no one is able to help me with. I try to resolve them myself. It just makes me even more depressed. And I heard a radio show last night where they said if you are depressed, you must go and get help. They say that taking medication will make you feel better. I've been reading a book. But the brains, in fact, let me show you that. Here a book here about the brain, uh, and let me in view. So, the, uh, the Botanica Guide to the Brain also talks about the science behind uh, when you feel depressed and what's going on inside your head. Quite interesting to read, but obviously, this doesn't help you feel better on a day to day basis. Uh, but uh, I do agree that uh, talking it through with uh, somebody you can confide in will make you feel better. Uh, clearly, uh, Robert Enker felt that uh, he couldn't do that, but he was worried that it would have uh, some negative effects on his family. He was worried that his adopted daughter would be taken off him. George Burley, uh, he might be confiding in his loved ones, I would say, uh, that uh, it's unfair that uh, he's lost his job. I mean, he might be in the time track, actually. I do know that uh, he said in interviews after the match on Saturday that uh, the performance wasn't very good. So, for all I know, he might be thinking about resigning anyway. Some say that uh, the Scotland team at the moment is a bit of a lost cause. Uh, but uh, ne ne nevertheless, he tried his best, I imagine, but uh, it wasn't to the standards that people were really demanding. So, he's bound to feel a bit of a failure. Uh, so, he might be blaming himself, he might feel depressed, he might feel uncertain as to uh, when his next football management position will come along. People don't like uncertainty, you know, it just adds to their depression. I, uh, when when non-football managers, you know, people who work in shops and that sort of when they get the sack, they will feel depressed. But some people commit crime with their depression, they become dependent on alcohol and drugs. I myself, I know that uh, it would be very easy to turn to such substances to make yourself feel better, but that's just staring down the pit of despair. You need to uh, focus on some hobbies to make yourself feel better, move on with your life. One thing that made me depressed in my time in university was that uh, my computer access was taken off me for reasons I've never been explained. 
and it came when I was studying a computer programming module. I was quite enjoying the programming module until my computer access was taken off me. And they've never taught me why the computer was taken off from me. But uh, uh, although I wasn't able to uh, engage in that computer programming module after the computer was taken off me, I have purchased some books on computer programming. And indeed, although I was studying that module for academic purposes, I am now studying computer programming as a hobby, and I quite enjoy doing it. It fills me with confidence, and I feel the disadvantage I had when the computer was taken off me. That decision has now been wiped out, but I can do this hobby in my own time. I got lots of free time, and it's making me feel quite good about myself. In fact, uh, yeah, here's the book that I'm currently working for. I work through this whenever I got free time, I'm quite addicted to it and uh, it uh, is slowly wiping away the depression I felt through not being able to uh, study this module in university and it uh, also distracts me away from uh, this nastiness that was in university as to why my computer access was taken and why those other things happened. Because I was eventually diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome and uh, no, retrospectively you could say that my computer access wouldn't have been taken had my disability, my own disability, known in advance, but uh, these people in the university refused to turn back time and they refused to let me have another go at this computer programming exercise, but uh, uh, I suppose it doesn't matter, but I found a way around it by myself, uh, so that I am no worse off in the long run, or that's meant that uh, uh, there's a bit of a delay to my life. Then know, know what I should be doing now. It is that uh, I'm still a few years away from being able to achieve that in terms of employment possibilities. So uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, so uh, if you are feeling depressed, get some help. Uh, I don't think medication will help you or make you feel worse. I know that my father he suffers depression, but uh, hey, get someone to speak to and try and get them to help you to resolve the problems if they are resolvable. Right, so uh, that is all for today's video vlog. Do join me for future video vlogs. And uh, as promised, here is a tribute to the late Robert Enker, who died last Tuesday. Uh, 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 let me double check the date for last Tuesday. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, last Tuesday, Tuesday the 10th of November 2009. Uh, do forgive me if it wasn't Tuesday. Uh, I'm speaking off the cuff here, but uh, 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 here is a tribute to Robert and Kenny anyway, So uh, do join me for future blogs. Until next time, is bye for now. Bye bye.